everyone, welcome back to the NFA Review Channel. The first video of the new year and AB Suppressors is back on the channel. So today we're gonna to be doing an in-depth look at their new MELB-P, their Mission Enhanced Little Bird Precision. So this barrel, this integral barrel, is made, built specifically for the new Ruger Precision Rimfire that I have here. And this particular build uh, that we have in front of us is really cool. I believe it's one of 10, don't quote me on that. Uh, custom builds by AB Suppressors and a ton of sponsors for a charity raffle. They were raffling off these rifles. So when I'm done with this review, this rifle has to go back to them and I believe they're going to sell it to raise more money. Uh, but So what we're going to do today, we're going to cover you know, what this barrel is and then all the parts on this to give a shout out for all these awesome companies that jumped aboard. And then we're going to hit the range and do an extended range session. So let's go ahead and get through the studio. Okay, starting with the barrel, it is a uh, just over 18 inches in length, and this starts life as a ER Shaw barrel blank with a match chamber, and then they they bore in six inches. Okay, and that is where the suppressor lives. The first 12 inches of the barrel is unmolested match grade barrel. Okay, so you got 12 inches of barrel rifled, then you have the suppressor. Now, as far as the suppressor itself. The insides, the internals are the same as the Little Bird and the uh, Mission Enhanced Little Bird for the 1022 Ruger that I already reviewed. So I don't want to get too in detail on that today because it's going to be repetitive. I've done two videos on this section of the suppressor already and I'll go ahead and put those video links above me right now and then of course I'll put the links below in the description. So when you're done with this video, go ahead and give those a watch and you'll have a much better understanding of what's going on in here. But quick cliff notes here. Uh, they bore it out and then they drop in these really cool tap looking baffles that self clean and you can set the depth of the baffles. So they have a takedown tool with predetermined marks on them for depth and when you service the uh, can, when you remove the baffles, they actually self clean on the threads. So they're threaded. They cut their way out. You can clean the suppressor front section here. And then when you screw them in, they, they clean. And then on the actual tool itself, it's got these pre-scored lines and you can set each baffle to the correct width apart from each other and you're good to go. It's actually really neat and I like the self-cleaning ability of the threaded baffles. It's a lot easier than just having like a smooth baffle in there that you, you know, try really hard to get out, especially after extended shooting session. Um, this barrel is not ported, so you need to shoot uh, subsonic or standard velocity target ammunition. Fun fact, standard velocity target ammunition and ammo that's labeled subsonic are the same thing. So uh, anytime you're shooting precision with a rim fire, you're gonna wanna stick with standard velocity anyway. There's a lot of good match rounds out there. I'm gonna have to rummage through my uh, now dwindling 22 supply and see what I have, see what the most accurate round is so we can put this thing to the test as far as accuracy goes. Um, they didn't send any ammo with it, I forgot to ask them. So let's go ahead and cover this really cool build that's well thought out. I'll show some really cool close-ups, B-roll up here for you on the screen, and then we'll hit that range and see how it goes. So again, starting with the barrel, this integral barrel itself is sold individually by AB Suppressors, the MELBP, for $449. Um, they said they might try to work out some deal like a group buy with my patrons on Patreon. That's what they've been doing for pretty much every review that we've done on YouTube, which is really nice of them to do. Uh, usually it comes with a special engraved suppressor, some shot glasses, hats, decals, stuff like that. So those of you out there that are my gold members on Patreon, you already know what I'm talking about. So stay tuned for that. So that's the suppressor that replaces the direct factory barrel. Firearm itself is the uh, Ruger. Uh, precision rim fire, which is the first time I've actually held one and I'm actually pretty impressed so far. We'll just start from the ground up. So this grip here is really neat. It actually has a shelf for your shooting thumb if you're right-handed. I have to assume they also have a, a left-handed variant, but this is a right-handed one. And that grip is from Anarchy Outdoors. So it has an Anarchy Outdoors uh, target grip with shelf, Anarchy Outdoors uh, dragon scale bolt knob here and an extended magazine release. So that is all from Anarchy Outdoors. 
Uh, shout out to them for setting that up. Uh, this grip is really cool. Like I couldn't get over that. That's really neat. As far as the trigger, this is a Timney match grade adjustable trigger. Very clean braking. Like there's no other 22 out there that has that unless you've modified your gun. So that's going to shoot great. Everything's held up in the air by the Magpul bipod. On the other side of the gun, you have this really trick dope card uh, that actually folds out. You can tilt it pull out the sleeves, there's multiple sleeves in here, and write notes. That is from X-Ring RDS, and it stands for a Rail Mounted Data System. So that's pretty cool. Going up to the scope, the scope base I forgot to mention is also from Anarchy Outdoors. Um, it's pretty neat. I looked at these on their website. So you can choose different MOA elevations. You can do zero, I think up to 50, maybe higher. And then it also has a bubble level on the rear. I'll show a tight shot here. This one is actually marked 30 MOA. So this increases your minute of angle by 30, has a level on the back, really, really clean. Um, you know, there's a lot of companies out there that are in the accessory world that tend to overdo things, you know, with machining and stuff. And uh, from what I can tell, this, this company has a great balance of making the part look good, but not overdone. And that's really welcomed in this segment for sure. As far as the glass, everything is from Athlon. So you have their scope rings, which are uh, very over-engineered for a 22 use. And their Midas uh, tactical scope uh, comes in at a power of four to 16 with a 44 millimeter objective lens. Got a sunshade on there. Uh, these little Magpul rail covers, pretty neat uh, what they did. They actually laser engraved each company that donated parts for this charity raffle on each one. It just actually really works. This is a really, really clean setup. Um, so again, while I've been talking, I went back and shot some B-roll here for you guys so you can see what I'm seeing here up close. And this is a really, really handsome looking gun that I cannot wait to shoot. As far as packaging, this came in a very cool case. So definitely uh, Desperado 2022 here. So it came in a discreet, I guess you could say, guitar case. So the, it's made by Savior Equipment. It's the uh, ultimate guitar rifle case. Uh, pretty neat. Go ahead and check out their website on that. I believe I'm going to need one to put all three of my MP5s in for no other reason than I can bring my MP5s to the range in a guitar case, which is cool. So we are going to pack this sucker up in that case, grab all the 22 ammo that I can find that is not garbage, pack up the truck, and then hit the range. And I want to see first what this thing sounds like from profile view, downrange, and then I want to shoot some groups with it because after all, this thing is set up to shoot some tight groups. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, everyone, we made it out to the range and uh, this is going to be pretty, uh, pretty special for me. Uh, my grandfather, who passed away uh, last year, if you guys remember the tribute that I gave him in one of my video reviews back in, I believe, November, um, he left this to me. It's a little Henry 22, and I'm going to use it today to get the unsuppressed bass lines since on the rifle we're reviewing, it just has an integrally suppressed barrel. There's no way to get any bass line sound, uh, sound profile check. Uh, without the suppressor on it. So I've actually never fired this gun. Uh, we, we just had it sent down and uh, pretty cool.
All right, let's do a little recap on the 25 yard accuracy test. Um, that's as far as I could go back uh, today and actually, you know, set up the table and, and get nice clean footage. Um, 25 yards scoped. So what we did here, I did 10 rounds. Okay, that's a 10 round group. And then I did a five round group. Uh, my first shot on the 10 round group was right here. I, I felt myself pull it. Uh, so I just decided to kind of warm up and shot a full 10 rounds here. And then that is your usual five round group. Here, we, here is the ammo we were using, the Eli Target match grade. Little size comparison here of the group we're dealing with. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive indeed. And here is a 10 round group. Yeah, so needless to say, uh, accuracy is a strong point. Alrighty, the AB Suppressors MLBP. So uh, yeah, guys, performed extremely well today. Uh, suppression, of course, was great as expected out of a bolt gun. Um, we were shooting the Eli or Eli, however you pronounce it, target ammo, I believe it's European. Uh, sounded really good actually. So most likely standard velocity like I discussed in the studio. Um, the, we did have a couple teething issues with the gun resetting the, the firing pin spring. Um, I don't know if you caught that. Um, I probably did some cut editing by now just to make the video go by a little quicker. Uh, but we did have some teething issues there. I don't know if I was just running the bolt too fast or what, but uh, you know, sometimes I had to reset it by just unlocking and locking the bolt. Um, then I had a couple of the cartridges get stuck in the chamber, so I just added some oil to the top of one of the rounds in the mag and it lubed that chamber fine. I didn't bring any cleaning stuff out here with me. I think I need to get in the habit of that, especially like a rod. Uh, but once I lubed that chamber, it was fine. So everything worked good after that. Um, suppression was great. Um, hopefully it translates well at home. I do take a lot of care in the stereo microphone settings to try to bring that tone to your living room. Okay, so hopefully you've heeded my warnings and you've watched my review with very high quality headphones, it kind of, you know, noise canceling. So you can kind of immerse yourself in the environment. You're gonna hear planes and para, uh, paratroopers, or paratroopers, uh, what the hell are they called? Skydivers. <laughs> paratroopers. Skydivers across the street, ultralights, birds, freaking squirrels in the trees. You should be able to hear all that, okay? With this, with, with the equipment that I have, it's, I had the setting set in a way to where it should not peek out the microphone so you can hear that true color of sound and the tone of what you're watching. Uh, obviously, the only way to judge the sound of a suppressor is to shoot it in person. And that is what my public shooting events are for. Uh, I haven't had a Suppress Fest or NFA review shoot in two years because of COVID, uh, but I do need to start planning one so you guys can get out here. These are fogging. So you guys can get out and actually experience it in person and you can hear these in person. Uh, but I try to do my best so you guys can hear it at home. So compared to the lever action, uh, my grandfather's Henry, uh, obviously night and day difference. Literally all you hear is that and then the bullet flight, and you can actually hear the bullet hit. Now, when I shoot here, I purposely shoot the berm and the tall grass and the steel to give you kind of different examples of what the bullet impact sounds like. Sounds different when it hits tall grass, dirt, whether it's wet dirt, dry dirt, or the steel, and what type of steel. So hopefully you're able to discern that difference of sound level between the unsuppressed and the suppressed, especially when you're shooting the steel. The unsuppressed Henry probably overshadowed the impacts on the steel a lot more than this did. Uh, as far as accuracy, pretty impressive. I know 25 yards isn't crazy, but it is a 22. And uh, to get 10 round and five round groups within the actual bullseye circle is great. I really wasn't taking my time. Uh, for sake of editing, I'll probably speed up the 10 round group and kind of throw it up now. Uh, but for sound profile and to show you how long I took to do the five round group, I probably showed you the real-time version of that, and uh, very impressive gun. Uh, so huge shout out to all the companies that actually put this package together. Uh, pretty sweet. This thing would look cool too with some like multicam Cerakote job or something like that, you know, to kind of break up the black. But all in all, pretty sweet setup and another home run from AB Suppressors for sure. Uh, so 
do me a favor, go check them out. And if you are a Patreon member, gold member and up specifically, I'm gonna try to put together some sort of group buy on this thing, get you guys a discount on it and some sort of cool package deal. So that's pretty cool. So stay on the lookout for that on Patreon. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today's video, the first video of the new year. I am going to be going to SHOT Show soon. So I uh, might have a little delay there in filming. So if you want updates on SHOT Show stuff, I'm gonna be posting it mainly on Instagram and Facebook, uh, probably more Instagram than Facebook. Uh, so check that out at NFA Review on Instagram, and I'm gonna just kind of post daily updates of what we're finding at SHOT Show. And then we're gonna get right back to filming when I get back to Florida. So if this is your first time on the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you liked the video quality. It takes about 20 man hours, about three days worth of shooting and editing to put these together. So I hope you enjoyed it. Click that like button. It really does help us here on the channel. Get some more organic reach and hopefully we can get in front of more new shooters so they can enjoy the world of suppressors. See you next time.